welcome to me playing a game. Theoretically, in multiple parts, and theoretically, the entire game. Um, so yeah, uh, this is Final Fantasy VI, uh, despite the title screen lying to you. Um, yeah, it was released as three in the U.S. because it was the third game that was actually released in the U.S., but whatever, irrelevant. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to play this game because I, ha I have consistent free time, I suppose, maybe, um, that I can kind of just sit here and record. So I'll just let you watch this. Okay, so now as this amazing intro credits play, uh, plays, I can speak, um, with one of my favorite songs in this entire game, um, yeah, let me kind of talk about this. So, I have beaten this game twice, uh, once with a friend, there is actually a two player in this game, um, basically lets you allow, lets you control, uh, different party members with different people, different controllers, whatever. Um, so, uh, I for some reason chose to play this game again. Um, I will tell you right now, for those of you who care, I am not actually in the Final Fantasy VI Master Race here. Uh, I do not think this is the be-all, end-all of Final Fantasy. It's the best one ever created. I think this game is really, really, really good. But I do actually think that 7 and 8 are better. Um, so... Just putting that out there now. Um, but I do like this game, and felt like playing it again. Uh, felt like it would be easier for me to play this, uh, and actually have commentary over it or whatever, than something like 8. Um, this game is still pretty dark, it's a Final Fantasy game, but it's at least a little more lighthearted, so I feel like I can make a little more interruptions and funny comments. Uh, or at least learn how to do funny comments, since I haven't done anything in a long time on YouTube, and who knows if I'm capable of that. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna be playing this game, uh, 
uh, game I really enjoy. It's old. It is uh, actually older than me by three years. Go figure. Uh, still a great game. Ted Woolsey's a great guy, by the way. You'll see some amazing translations. Um, so, I may have just messed up, and that may have... Yeah, okay. It, it's going to play all of that again, so I'm just going to use the magic of editing. Okay, so, we're back where we are supposed to be, actually having passed the title screen now. Um, yeah, I have no idea how I'm syncing audio. Uh, so let me... Uh, no point in taking... No sense in taking any risks. Forward, um, A. That might be syncable. Um, so yeah, I usually... I uh, use shadow play for audio, but it seems to be that it kind of makes quality a little crappy, um, and that's bad. Yeah, okay, um, just setting this up the way I like. Um, all of that is fine. Sure. Uh, we can play with the window color. Um, uh, no, I'm good. Uh, so. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, I will figure out how the audio will work for this, because I am recording audio separately and will have to sync it. Uh, recording it separately should also let me, uh, like, process it a little bit, maybe make it sound a little less crappy. So I do have a pretty nice mic, but it's not a perfect mic, it's just a headset mic, so... Um, yeah, uh, let's get going. Uh, I got these two grunts in our party. Uh, one of whom happens, happens to be named Wedge. That is not actually the Wedge um, my channel is named after. Um, that would be the Star Wars Wedge. Uh, this is just a different Wedge, and as I discovered, uh, apparently Final Fantasy is into Wedges, so that's a, that's a thing. Self-important swine. I sure. Attack me with dogs. That, that'll end real well. Your single dog will surely hold up to uh, this fire I will shoot in your face. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, so yeah. I would say I am pretty good at these games at this point. I've played a bunch of Final Fantasy games. Um, I'm too fat to go that way. Plus, that's not the way I need to go anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, let's just kill some, like, innocent villagers as we invade the village now. Uh, and you can... You who does not have a name yet, I was about to say her name. Um... You shall overkill them mightily. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be playing through this game without a guide, theoretically. Um, since I think I have a good idea of how to get through this game and do, like, about a, like, 80, get 80% 80 of the stuff done. Uh, just from memory, because I've played it twice now. Um. Uh. Why are you making me kill so many dogs? Don't do that. Uh, I will X for you. You gotta use all the fancy attacks. You have extra fancy attacks. Bye. Have a good trip. Oh, now you're actually going to attack me. Um, and tech missile. Oh no, we might need to heal. How terrible. Um, so yeah. Nothing like some beginning of the game encounters that are super easy and 
like basically scripted victories because if you can manage to lose here that's that's really sad also vix is totally supposed to say bigs but ted woolsey sometimes screws up he makes some pretty hilarious expressions and does generally pretty good job as a translator but accuracy isn't necessarily his number one thing and our first pincer attack um so yeah oh you didn't want to actually like smack okay good so yeah, yeah as you might suspect if they smack me in the back they do do double damage which is kind of shitty uh, so we'll just have to get rid of them With our fancy match tech armor, which kicks butt. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much uh, editing I'm gonna end up doing. Uh, encounters in this particular game aren't very long, so I can't really see myself editing them out. Unless it gets, like, really ridiculous and I get, like, lost in some cave somewhere. Um, which shouldn't happen, but definitely could happen. Uh, if, yeah, if that happens, then I'll obviously edit it out. This time, they brought some woolly mammoths with them, because who doesn't bring woolly mammoths with you? Wait, that was a... Did I just say English? I don't know. Actually, one of you could probably use health. Um, so yeah, if you're at all curious or care, which you probably don't, um, I have beaten uh, Final Fantasy 4, 6, which this one obviously. Um, uh, 7, 8, and 10. Uh, I've played a decent amount of 9 and planned to finish it, but I was, it's kind of an effort I was doing with someone else. So I'm kind of waiting on their schedule uh, to actually finish that up. Uh, also playing through 5 currently, also like 10 hours into that. Um, and playing that with someone else. Um, I have no desire to play anything beyond 10, though I do plan to play 10 too. Uh, as my brother claims, it is a good game, so I will attempt that one day. Maybe this one. Just maybe. Just maybe this one. Be kind of anticlimactic if it just wasn't. Just like ah, uh, it's two. It's two doors down. I got some were rats to fight. It's pretty exciting. So yeah, I was going to actually play Final Fantasy VIII, but even though I like that game more, it just seemed, it seemed less appropriate for, uh, for YouTube and me recording and having fun with it. Um, also because VIII does have very, very long encounters in general, uh, so I feel like I would have had to do more editing and I want to be lazy. So, deal with it. Um, first save... No, I don't want info about save points. I know how to use save points, actually. This is something I have got down. That I can do. Um... Wait, what? I... I missed the point at which I used five of my MP. But I don't remember curing anyone. Did I cure someone earlier? Ah, who knows. Um, well, anyways, what we did come to this menu to do is probably to save, um, create a fresh, uh, copy of the game so I could have some, uh, empty save slots here. Uh, so... Oh, excuse me. I burp. That's the thing that happens. Uh, so... We shall go down these caves a little more. Oh no, a wall. What shall we ever do about a wall? Smash it. That sounds about accurate. Okay. And 
and now for standard Final Fantasy first boss. Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores energy in its shell. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. So yeah, this is, uh, I believe there are a decent amount of Final Fantasy. I've never actually counted, but I know it's at least this and seven, where the first boss counterattacks if you hit it at a specific time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be careful, because it's very easy to, uh, misjudge when he's gonna crawl back into his shell, spoiler alert. Um and accidentally hit his shell instead of him, which would be very shitty. Um, and be lots of pain for everyone involved. Um, and pain is bad. We don't like pain, actually. And there we go. He has retreated into shell. Um, now through the magic of ATB, we can just sit here and wait. And time shall pass. It's pretty uh, amazing, actually. Good boss battle music here as we stare at a shell. Oh, it's coming back. Here's a missile for your face. I heard your face wants a missile. Hmm. Appears your face did not want that missile. Probably get. Yeah, just. I feel like every time I've done this fight, I've hit his shell at least once, so I'm, like, kind of seeing if, like, I could pull that off. Pull off, never dealing with hitting his shell. Woo! Die. Um, yeah, you're, you're pretty dead. That's, that's not gonna end well for you. I got a potion. get to fight some floaty blob things. I love floaty blob things. Let's make them ascend to the heavens. Or whatever the hell that actually does. Bye. This game's nice to you. It, like, it gives you the impression that it's gonna be, like, super easy, and there's everything gonna be a pushover. You're gonna have, like, these giant mechs that just, like, kinda kill things. No MP costs. Yeah, it looks pretty frozen. Uh, definitely alive, though. That would be, uh, pretty alive. And now we see Final Fantasy VI cutscenes, which take place in the battle menu. Um... For future reference, I do apologize. For some reason, this game glitches, and sometimes when in scenes like this, like the sprites will be off screen but like glitch into the text box. You'll see what I mean when we get there. Um, yeah, it probably does, actually. Oh no, I mean, she does. That makes sense. Statement still stands. Eerie light is uh, shitty, especially when it's like pulsating on you. That's uh, that's bad. Oh uh, yeah, mm. uh, that's great. Um, great. And now I'm sitting here, also pulsating with this. Great. And glowing and electricity. Yeah, um, that would be 
a great reason for your head to hurt. That's shitty and messed up. Mysterious young woman controlled by the Empire, born with the gift of magic. And I am not going to change character names, because I... I think in this game I like all of them. Uh, but yeah, no, I kind of know them as those characters. For future reference, I, uh, I hate that stupid portrait. That portrait is awful. And is not at all what I imagine when I look at the actual sprite art. So, screw that portrait and its friends. It does have friends. There are the other portraits in this game for characters are really dumb and I hate them. Um, also, fun fact, this uh, game, the PS1 version, uh, does actually have a CG intro cutscene that was added to it. And uh, I think that it looks terrible. I think those characters look dumb. So, yeah, uh, I am a very interesting case of someone who likes Final Fantasy, but not necessarily anime, and just that art style in general, I don't know, it's weird. I, I like, I realized maybe it was intended that way, but I am just going to interpret it in my own way where I think they look kind of normal, so... Uh, done with my rant. Okay, let's 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 move on. Let's uh, not, not be here. Great. Run. <laughs> well, I actually don't have the ability to run yet. Need some shoes for that, which is ridiculous, but we'll get there. I'll, I will probably have a small celebration upon obtaining shoes. Um, so yeah, save point. Uh, so yeah, uh, generally, I'm gonna kind of shut up during important dialogue uh, since I respect this game and this game story and don't want to kind of interrupt it to be honest so I'm not actually disappearing off the face of the planet I'm gonna try to not do that but uh, for dialogue um, I will usually probably not talk over it unless it's hilarious and I need to make some mention of it. Um, but yeah, we're fighting the Repo Man, um, who just kind of chills in the cave. Uh, good for him. And that was not who I meant to target. But, it's dead, so who cares? Um, yeah, Mr. Repo Man, for some reason, is creeping in this cave. Uh, and my favorite part about the Repo Man is as, they're, as they die, their last action is to throw a wrench in spite at the, the person who killed them. It's just like, I, I have a great image of a just random ass repo man just like, like punching him and he falls over and just like hurls his wrench fit 40 feet to like lightly tap you on the face. I don't think a wrench could lightly tap you in the face, but that's a, that's a different problem. Uh, that, that was supposed to say Phoenix Down. Not, uh, that terrible spelling. Um, so, I'm sorry. Sorry, Ted Woolsey. But as I said, accuracy is not your strong point. 
Everything else is your strong point, though, because it's pretty amazing. I am a fan of this work. Some people are like, oh, this is a dumb translation. Why would I ever want this translation? It, like, shifts the meaning and it's dumb and it's not as serious as the original Japanese. Like, I don't care. I think this translation is hilarious, and when it needs to be serious, it absolutely is serious, and I can't really imagine this game being any other way on this. Just like, he did a good job. Leave him alone. I could also use magic, but I'm lazy. It's, it's pretty much what I'm going for here. Um, yeah, let me beat up this repo, man. Can you not, actually? Spiteful wrench. Spiteful wrench is not appreciated. Also, that... I... Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't remember being able to, like, go in there, whatever, at this point in the game. Um, so, yeah. I'm gonna try to be generally fast and kind of get through things since I know where I'm going. I'm not gonna spend extra time to get everything 100% perfect. Uh, though I am pretty completionist, so I'm not gonna completely deviate from my own tendencies here. But, uh, yeah, he's gonna spitefully wrench me and then I'm gonna have 15 health. Great. Uh, I should probably deal with that. It would probably be recommended. I could actually use items for once. That would be exciting. I like that idea. Yeah. Okay. I have used an item. So yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't use items. At least not for healing. Maybe use them for other crap. I can run now. That looks painful. <laughs> 